Chef Lalonde from the Canteen Grill in North Platte. Join us now for fabulous, unique, original recipes created by the chef. Hi, and welcome to Cooking with Chef Lalonde. Today we're going to take you on a little trip to Italy where you see this quite a bit. Even you see this especially in French and European cultures. We're going to do some fruit. Basically what we're going to use is ruby red grapefruit poached in syrup with some raspberries and Grand Marnier. And you can see we have really simple greens. We've got water, raspberries, the fruit, some sugar, Grand Marnier. We've got a little mint. We've got some biscotti to garnish this with. And uh, really it's a lot about technique. So it doesn't look like a lot of ingredients, but the technique's really important. And once you put it all together, you're gonna really love it. All right, now I've seen this done in two techniques. Where one is where we, we're gonna take the, uh, the peel of the grapefruit, and I'm using a zester here, and then we poach this in, in water for a few minutes, like about five minutes and set it aside and then add it to, at the end. But I kind of like to poach this while I'm making the syrup. So that's why we're gonna take a little step out and it just, I think it just adds more flavor and a lot more uh, depth to what we're making. All right, now we've got our zest in the pan. We're gonna go ahead and add our water. And this is about three fourths of a cup of water. And this is a cup and a half of sugar. And we're gonna turn this on we're going to kind of watch this because it's going to melt and it's going to take about 15 minutes to get a nice syrup in here. We've already zested these so we're going to go ahead and take the ends off and we're going to set this flat and this works really good if you have a nice serrated knife and we want to just go ahead and go around and peel our grapefruit like so. And what we want to do is then section this and what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of pull this over so you can see this. What I'm going to do is take the knife and I'm going to go in between and we're going to section these right out. So you can see right in between the membrane and section them out. Just let all that juice go in there. And we want to do that to all three of our grapefruits. All right, we're going to add the juice to the, uh, from the uh, grapefruits. Now we're going to go ahead and add our sections right in there. We're going to let this go about five minutes and then we're going to finish this baby up. This looks really nice. You can see the, the nice syrup that's coming out of there. The flavor is going to be fantastic. All right, now these are perfectly poached. We're going to go ahead and add some Grand Marnier. You can be kind of liberal with that if you like. I'm just going to turn it down just a little bit. We're going to go ahead and add our raspberries. And our raspberries don't need to cook a whole lot in there. They just need to kind of stay nice as they kind of come up. And this is ready to take off the heat. And then we're gonna cool this down pretty quickly. And if you don't wanna cool this down quickly, I leave them in your refrigerator, oh, two, three hours. All right, now we've got a ice bath here. So we've got some ice and some water in a glass bowl, heat proof bowl. I'm gonna make sure you get all the, the goodies out of there. And then we're gonna let this cool down fairly quickly. And if you want it to go a little bit faster, you can also put some salt around the outside of the ice and that'll get a little bit colder, a little bit quicker. All right, these are nice and chilled. We're gonna go ahead and uh, Throw a little chocolate almond biscotti in there. This would be kind of something real simple, really beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and add some of our fresh mint. And this makes a really wonderful spring and summertime dessert, something super refreshing, and I think you really enjoy it. And there you go. All right, thanks for joining us. You know, a nice little uh, brandy aperitif, a little Grand Marnier goes really nice with this. Uh, try this at home, let them chill, makes it much better. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week. For Chef Lalonde recipes, go to knopnews2.com or send a self-addressed stamped envelope. Please join us again next Wednesday.